Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm on location here at Zimmerman Prairie State Nature Preserve. Um, you can only access it truly by a permit, um, which I do not have this time around, so. But I mean, that's okay. Um, so, because the reason is, it's actually situated next to a bikeway um, here in my hometown here. And so I'm gonna see if I can just find uh, potentially a landscape shot. That's kind of what I'm thinking for the morning here. The lights already kind of faded away. It looked really gorgeous pre-sunrise. Uh, but unfortunately it looks like it all, all but dissipated now um, but there's a lot of nice um, just kind of roadside views over here as i'm situated along the bikeway and uh, i'm kind of thinking something with maybe the snow line kind of frozen over waterway um, that feeds into the uh, the prairie and the wetland over here um, so that's an idea first but <laughs> let me just go ahead and uh, list out a couple of facts for you um, about this location um, so it's actually the southernmost or at least one of the southernmost fens um, in the state of Ohio, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's got extensive uh, just views and displays of prairie dock. Uh, it's a plant I really have not photographed too much of. Um, obviously, this time of year, you wouldn't really get them uh, like you would in, you know, spring and summer and, and all that such. Um, usually, they're pretty abundant, I would say, in, I think, July, you know, kind of midsummer uh, for prairie dock there. Um, but yeah, so as you can tell, most of it's just kind of bland and um, everything. All the plants are really like lying dormant. Right now of course as we're here in the middle of winter uh, so that means my options in that case are limited um, at least you know so that's okay but you know it is what it is and so like i said i'm gonna see if i can take a shot here from the bikeway um, either into the fen or on this side which as you can probably hear from all that highway traffic it's literally right above this prairie um, which is kind of interesting just to see the small little tract of wetland uh, wet prairie be just next to a busy highway like it is um, so that's that's interesting I think uh, but it's nice that we're actually preserving it and it's actually uh, pretty much mandated that it has to be uh, protected as such so but yeah it's a nice place um, it's just not open really to the public you need some kind of permit um, or some kind of uh, document saying that you've got um, ex exclusive permission really to enter the prairie um, which I knew that ahead of time but I was gonna try out this location just to say, you know, I ticked it off the list for the on location series. Um, but, you know, with some, I guess you could say limitations um, or restrictions, of course. Um, so, yeah, so it's okay. But, you know, I don't wanna just like start running my way through there if I'm not allowed to, I guess, so. All right, so from here, I think, actually quite a lot of bird life going on, um, but I did not bring, I brought like everything with me in my bag. Um, except my big telephoto lens. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm really gonna run back and get that, but it is tempting to say the least. And um, it may be an option, honestly. So yeah, I may consider it, um, but we will see at least. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna keep walking along here and see, along the bikeway that is, and see if there's any good spots to uh, maybe take a potential photograph. But. Like I said, it looks like the, the light's really, really faded already away, and it's gonna be a really kind of overcast, cloudy day um, overall, it looks like, so. That's kind of unfortunate, and ooh, someone built like a little makeshift boardwalk. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, so, yeah, it's really cold out though, so, yeah, I'm really feeling it, but yeah, anyways, we'll get started here, and I'm gonna, I'm going to see what I can find. So I went on the southernmost portion of the prairie here, and uh, it gets some nice different views of it, different angles, uh, but now that I crossed the highway bridge underneath it, um, which is actually a little spur on the bikeway, actually, it's not actually open to uh, motorist traffic, but um, I really, there's some ideas, but I just don't really know. I need to like really stand there and just kind of think about it, really let the ideas kind of marinate and, you know, consider what maybe 
photographic possibilities there really are. Um, so, yeah, I'm not too sure yet, but there's a lot of frozen over waterways. A couple of them are really flowing, even really small ones at that. Um, but, yeah, most of them are frozen, snow lined as well, which is pretty cool. You know, adds a different perspective, I think, overall, which is really cool. So, there's some possibilities here or on the other side, um, northward of the bikeway. And so, I think from here, yeah, because there's one right here, which I'm thinking it could be a possibility, um, but I don't know. It's, it's just an idea at the moment. So, but I think I like the ones over there because there's like some old uh, railroad uh, or some like power line situated next to the bikeway. Because um, of course this bikeway used to be a railroad, of course, um, before it got converted and everything to the the multi-purpose path and all that. So I'm thinking something with that might incorporate some kind of older style. Uh, I guess you could say local history, um, in a sense. You know, maybe maybe include that subject, I'll we'll say, in the frame, and uh, make a photograph that way. But um, yeah, that's that's at least what I'm thinking at the moment. Probably like a wider angle perspective. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go back to my initial spot, um, kind of where I started the video actually, and uh, see if I can take a shot there right along the bikeway. Uh, so that way I'm not actually uh, directly into the prairie. Um, like I said earlier with the permit and everything. So basically just, this is gonna be a nice casual photo uh, trip, I guess. Uh, nothing too crazy hiking or anything. And nice little casual, just take a photo from the roadside and uh, you know, we'll call it a day, I guess, or at least a morning, rather, because you can tell the light's gonna be really overcast. Which is gonna be kinda, it's gonna be a little boring, but you know, I'll make it work at least for what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make my way over there. It's just like a minute or two walk. And then I'll probably set up my tripod and you know, get to work on the shot. So, <clears throat> I was literally walking right up to the spot I had in mind, and there's like these two trucks, I guess they're like service workers or volunteers for maintaining the bikeway, I guess, but like, they literally, literally parked right in front of my composition. <laughs> At least the one I was like, I just said I was going to. Literally like parked curbside along the bikeway, right where it is. This is visually frustrating, but I think this thing's still out there. As you can see, they're still they're still out there. I don't know what they're doing, but they keep going into the area I was literally gonna go to. Or not go to, but you know, take a photograph in the direction of. And so yeah. It'd be different if they were like <clears throat> not in that spot, the exact same spot I was going to photograph. So I'd probably just go over there, you know, sit up and do my thing real quick. But like they're, they're like right there, <laughs> and I mean I already look as weird and crazy as it is, you know, walking around the bikeway with all this on. Um, but man, that just sucks. So I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. In all honesty, it might not even be a great shot, but I could just be saying that now to give the benefit of the doubt, um, since I never really did, never did truly try it. Um, so, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I guess wait. That's all I can do, really. Wait or leave. But you know, part of me doesn't want to leave empty-handed because I feel like the shot might be pretty cool. Um, at least something a little bit different. You know, something. So something more wintry landscape wise um, which I feel like I need to I haven't done in a while so I feel like that'd be kind of refreshing to say the least but I just don't know what they're doing all right so they finally left after about five or ten minutes of me just kind of waiting around um, I simply just went back to my car uh, I switched up to my regular hiking boots um, simply because I don't think I'm going to be waiting through any of this. 
Um, I'm just gonna be real quick as you can tell left the bag in there as well uh, the camera bag and I brought just a wide angle my DSLR of course and my tripod and a polarizer filter and um, yeah so obviously I'm just gonna take this shot if it's even worth it now I don't know but we'll see but I'm just curious to see what they're wondering what they're looking at because the trucks did go by me um, where I'm parked at um, over this way and it was a Parks and Trails uh, truck so I don't know what they're looking at maybe they're just checking waterway quality or something and I'm just kind of kind of weird but then again I don't know what they're doing so obviously it's stuff outside of my my pay grade and all that so but anyways um, looks like I am here now and I'm going to see what I can do they're probably checking this pump actually right here I don't know little pump that's sticking out of the water maybe they're checking that so but anyways like I said I'm gonna take the shot and um, yeah I'll just I'll get back to you in a moment so I'm gonna see let me lay out my composition first and then I will get back to you all right I'm gonna make this real quick just because a lot of people are suddenly I don't know, out of the woodwork and they're coming out here and walking the trail so and I'm like right along it as you can tell so um, I just don't like filming in front of people, which I know a lot of uh, YouTube photographers say the same thing um, pretty much anywhere. So, just strangers in general, I guess. But, anyways, um, I have this pretty nice shot uh, lined up, and um, actually, the water is flowing off to the side, um, outflowing from where I'm uh, currently positioned here. Um, but it's a weird kind of just winding, um, almost like an S curve, and it's beautiful. I love the snow lined. Uh, just look of it I guess and a wide angle approach um, and I have as you can see my tripod really low to the ground which means it's going to emphasize that foreground detail and so I'm pre-focusing on this itty bitty uh, little circle uh, some vegetation uh, some kind of substrate I guess um, just hanging out there and that's going to be pretty much my foreground piece I'm going to off center it to the right side to make create a sense of uh, rule of thirds and um, like I said polarizer filter so it's going to deepen uh, the reflections from the ice because um, I don't really want them to look um, so much like I guess I could take a video of it and show you but um, yeah it's just going to be something a little bit different here so um, really looking forward to taking the shot here and um, seeing really what it looks like so yeah we'll go ahead and take it here in a moment um, I'm going to be at an aperture probably do a probably a wider aperture of course just because it is a landscape shot um, and I want everything from front to back to be um, pretty much in focus as much as I can. Um, if it's a little bit more soft in the background, that's going to be more forgiving. I'm not going to be that picky about it. Um, but I'm going to go with, probably choose ultimately F11 um, is what I'm thinking. And then for ISO, probably keep it lower. So maybe like 500 or something like that. Um, something similar in that range at least. And then uh, for shutter, since I will be on a tripod um, and as well as a two second timer, um, that's going to be, that might vary. I might take a couple test shots and see how those look um, overall. But, yeah, it's really, you can't complain, especially with the overcast light. Um, I feel it's going to really work out in this favor too, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shot. I'll be at, at 50th of a second. And um, let's go ahead and see what we can come up with here. Alrighty, everyone. So I took exactly one shot. Um, like I said, there's just a lot of people around and it's kind of disrupts my uh, creative process overall. But um, that one shot, I think it's real. I'm really confident in it. I feel like it's going to be a really nice shot. Um, the histogram was nice, even mound, um, exposed pretty well to the right. Um, I did end up with the same settings I just talked about. 50th of a second, uh, F11 and ISO 500. And so, yeah, I feel like it's going to turn out pretty well. I like the angle and perspective of it. The composition's really creative, I think, for me. Um, and it's nice to get some kind of winter uh, landscape shots. But something that's a little more non-traditional and something that's maybe a little bit more abstract. So um, I really liked how it turned out, and I hope you do too. Um, so yeah, I'll just keep at that one shot for today. Something nice and simple. Um, only spent probably about an hour here overall. And so I feel like it worked out really well in my favor. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. This has been Zimmerman Prairie State Nature Preserve. Until next time, uh, make sure to get out here. Thank you.